What's happening, YouTube? I'm back at it again. Uh, Freedom Assets Training here. Um, here to share a little bit more, uh, bring some more fuel to the fire that you need. Enjoying a little bit of my Pepsi. Round two. Round two. Hope you understand what that means. First part of the day, um, we've already um, had a pretty good half of the day here. Um, you still got, you see my clock there, you still got till, oh, I don't know, 2 a.m., uh, 1 a.m. It all depends on how you guys look at perspective to how much sleep you need. A human being really doesn't need much sleep, um, really six hours is all I really need. Um, if I get more, uh, I'm happy. But uh, hey guys, um, want to kind of um, add a little bit more to what we were talking about earlier. Um, touched on um, touched on what our me mental focus need to be on. Um, touched on um, aspects about life. Um, don't minimize where you are in life. Uh, don't let um, different things in life stop you. I want to kind of pick back up where I left off. Um, you know, there's a reason why uh, many of us still have a lot of fear, doubt, uncertainty. Um, because we let voices, uh, we let um, circumstances uh, in life kind of push us back and that's the sad part we let the noise in uh, the society that we're in remember most of what happens in society is so cookie cutter that um, if people impose that on you um, you know you've heard the term keeping up with the Joneses okay and that's a sad reality, you know. Uh, usually I, t I look at subdivisions and nothing against people who live in subdivisions. Uh, but, you know, um, you come from that type of um, perspective. Um, you know, it's a cookie-cutter mindset. You're really, you're really not... Um, want to step out we talked about reality shift yesterday I really don't want to step out of that thought process hey I want to uh, live in a um, in a ho in a home that's got a nice white picket fence um, you know that sort of ma mindset and when you when you look at the other side of the coin the flip side of it is um, the fact that you live out in the country you know, that you live out uh, with a good few acres of land, you know, um, you know, we talk about freedom, you know, we talk about working on, working on you, that is the asset, uh, apologize for the phone calls, that's the thing, being in the office, you know, um, calls come in at random times, they're always, always pulling on uh, good old uh, manager here but hey guys um, hope I'm adding some value here um, hope uh, you get some out of this piece okay um, really want you guys to understand where you are mentally okay where you guys are emotionally where you guys are spiritually okay um, keep in mind what's fueling your doubt, what's fueling your worries, okay? Now, there's a healthy side to it, okay? There's a healthy side to fear. There's a healthy side to worry. There's a healthy healthy side to why the uncertainty, okay? But are you letting that, okay, punch you in the gut? Are you letting that get, you know, are you allowing that to get on your... Um, you know get a get to a worse point of your life okay so um don't let anything stop you 
Don't let anything stop you. Okay, if you ever were to get a mindset, hey, maybe, you know, um, moving out to the country is not such a bad thing. You know, um, heck, I'm not saying, I'm not here to say that being in a subdivision is a wrong thing or being living in the city is a wrong thing. Everybody's in a, in a different context and no context is wrong, okay? Um, is truth relative? I don't want to go into that subject, but um, guys, you know, I'm here to let you know um, we talked about taking action, okay? Take action, okay? The inaction is what causes you worry. The inaction is what causes you the setback. Setbacks are real, okay? Uh, they are the consequences of taking risks. And taking risks are for entrepreneurs. It, it seems foolish to a lot of people. But, um, hey, um, risk equals reward, okay? You might not see the reward to the risks you take in life. Uh, an employee takes a lot less risk as opposed to an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs fail a million times, several times. You look at um, you look look at Dyson, okay, uh, the creator of uh, the vacuum, the famous uh, vacuum. All right, but what do you what do you have to say about that man? How many times did he fail? Okay, but falling is part of. It, it's no different than standing up and sitting down. But when you concentrate on Oh, you know what? I've been, I've been falling down way, you know, uh, far too long. You know, it, I just don't have the strength to get back up. Well, that go all goes back to mental resilience. That all goes back to, all right, I, I got to work on myself here. Okay, I got to get back up. I got to move. And you stay stay stagnant too long, you're you you know you you're gonna uh, you you're done. You, you're done. You've hung, hung it up and you, you are pretty much done. Hopefully there's another chapter to you. Okay? Hopefully there's another chapter to your life. But uh, hey guys, get encouraged. Um, execute. Take action. Get on fire. Okay? Um, balls deep. Okay? Um, take chances. Take chances. Because remember, the past is yet to come. Okay, it will be a sad reality for a lot of us to just lay down and take it and give up. Okay, and blame, um, blame all kinds of um, you know scenarios in life. All right, I mean it's pretty sad. Uh, people giving up. All right, people uh, making excuses. Hey, you know, as they say, you can't take excuses to the bank. Then I'm going to cash that check. So best, best that we do is recognize where we are in life, okay? Recognize where we are in life. And the next thing you need to do is um, start coming up with an action plan. What's your course of action? COA, as we talk about in the military. What's your course of action for, um, you know, let's talk simple terms, bills. All right, there's $3,500, there's $4,000 due uh, on, a, on six or seven different bills all put together. How do I, um, how do I uh, navigate through that uh, challenge? Challenges, welcome it. Welcome that challenge. Okay? Uh, welcome that challenge. Because if you don't welcome challenges, guess what? Life's pretty uh, boring. You're pretty much going through the motions. You know, there's nothing in life that excites you anymore. You might be just around the corner for some pretty bad depression. Okay? Um, talk about depression. We are going into the fall season here. Um, okay, one of the highest uh, times of the year where we have depression, where we have, um, you know, 
a lot of uh, isolation. Uh, people are just kind of isolated. Um, you know, there's groups of families that take vacations or take time off or, um, you know, spend time together as families. And then there are people that are just isolated, okay, and they don't have the mental strength. They just lack the mental strength to be part of, uh, you know, uh, be part of a group or even uh, be strong to be by themselves. I mean, uh, this channel is all about freedom assets training, okay? So important, it's so pivotal that you train the asset that you are, okay? You are the brand. Nike is not the brand. Okay, Nestle is not the brand. They are things of the old. You are the brand. Okay, if you can identify the fact that you can bring value to the forefront. Okay, that's where that's where it's all about. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna get off here. I got a appointment here uh, or teleconference. I got to jump on. All right. Um, catch you on the other side um be encouraged remember the best is yet to come okay um stay focused um we're uh, ending the day here uh well not so much ending the day here but you know phase two let's go um all right have a good one hey don't forget to subscribe all right and give me a thumbs up because let me tell you something i'm going to bring fresh content every day and we're going to combat this fear, okay? We're going to combat this fear. People are full of uncertainty. People are full of doubt. People are full of all kinds of confusion. All right? But we're going to combat it, all right? Peace.